In today's video, we will be looking at how to upgrade Networker server from version 8.2 to 18.2. Alright, for today's demo, I have set up my test environment here. I don't have many clients on this, but do, I do have a number of groups. So I have created these groups to show you how exactly the conversion of uh, your groups will be taking place from the group configuration to the policy, uh, the workflow and the actions. So now you might have already known that uh, going starting with Networker 9 and onwards, the architecture of Networker has changed drastically. Uh, previously, whatever configuration was uh, that was done under groups now has been broken up between the workflow and the actions. Before you upgrade to Networker 9, there are a few factors that you, to, you have to keep in mind. The first and the foremost is the compatibility of your Networker environment. So you have to make sure that all the components within your Networker data zone are going to be compatible with Networker 18.2. If in case there is something that is not compatible, then you have to ensure that you take appropriate action on those items and have the environment ready for 18.2. So a few of these factors would be if in case you're using a VBA, the existing version of VBA which is supported by 18.8.2 uh, is not supported by 18.2. So the VBA will have to be upgraded to uh, version 1.5 along with all the proxies that are used by the VBA. This cannot be done prior to the upgrade itself and has to be done in the same window as the networker server upgrade is planned. Uh, as the 1.5 version is not compatible with 8.2 so uh, that is one thing that you have to uh, take care about the other thing that you have to take care about is if in case you're using save PNC PC for processing uh, certain tasks before you start the up, uh, start a backup or once you've completed the backup then save PNC PC is no more supported from version 9.2 9.x onwards so this has to be converted to a pre command and a post command which is supported on 8.2 as well as seen in your screen here the pre command the post command which is essentially breaking your save pnpc pc into the pre and the post um, tasks so this can be done prior to the upgrade so i recommend this to be done uh, before you do the actual upgrade the other thing that you have to you might have to uh, take care about is the the SQL backup so if in case you do have any SQL client which is already on 9.x then post upgrade with your existing configuration your backups might fail because the log backup in SQL or the transaction log backup in SQL which runs with an incremental level in uh, version 8.2 is now supported with a level a log only so this change has to be done post upgrade before the backup starts so that you you don't have a lot of failure tickets created now these were the few things that uh, you have to keep in mind before you go ahead with the upgrade there are a few other factors that might be impacting uh, your environment so i uh, recommend you to go check the release notes before you do the actual upgrade so i have a number of groups here around 600 just to show you how they get broken up after uh, they are uh, converted in 18.2 and also I have created a few resources under the clone policy uh, again to show you how exactly it would look once the conversion is done in networker 18.2 so let's go ahead and check what components I have installed on my networker server let's do rpm qa and grab for lgto so as you can see, I have man pages, client, server, node, and NMC. Now, before going ahead with the upgradation of the server, there is one component that we will have to install, which is the Java component or the Java runtime environment. EMC has come up with its own support binary here, which is called an NRE or Network Runtime Environment which is essentially Java runtime environment which is installed on your system and configured with required environment variables uh, by the tool itself. So this I, I assume is basically because of the Oracle um, trying to license the JDK and um, 
uh, all the vendors don't want to take any chance towards JRE now. Now the Java runtime environment is actually required for your authentication service which is again a new component in Networker uh, 9.x onwards. The authentication server is a uh, Apache based um, service and it is responsible for the enhanced security on your networker server. Uh, initially all the security or access control was taken care by the networker management console server but now this responsibility has now fallen back on the networker server and the networker server or the authentication service is responsible for authenticating the user not only on the NMC on the CLI as well. So you will have to uh, you will need to check more about the command the NSR login to know more about this authentication service or how it works. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see what binaries I have. So I have the NRE installation for Linux and then I have the installation files for 18.2 as well. Let's go ahead and install the NRE first. Okay, I've already installed this. Um, let's go ahead and start installing the 18.2 version. So looking at the install components, I need man pages, client, server, node and NMC on this machine. So let's go ahead and run the command rpm-uvh. Uh, now there might be a few questions where uh, asking why don't we uninstall the previous version and then install the new version of a networker. So EMC recommends us to upgrade the existing version of the networker using the upgrade method and not the fresh installation method. Let's go ahead and check what files we need. So we will need the authc. As I told you this is the binary which is going to install the authentication server or service. I need the client. Now you would see an additional installation file here which is the XTD client. So this is nothing but the previous client by a package which is now broken up into two different packages. So now the LGTO CLNT package is a lightweight installation file which contains only the bare minimum binaries required for a client to run. So additional diagnostic uh, uh, commands or binaries are all included in the LGTO CLNT and if in case it is a requirement for you to have them on your client then it is optional for you to go ahead and install those uh, components as well. Alright, let's go ahead. We need the man pages, NMC and the storage node. You might see a few additional binaries here, or for example the LGTO NWUI serve. So with the current version of Networker, EMC has now started supporting a HTML5 based uh, networker management console. It is still not full fledged replacement of the NMC which is a applet, uh, Java based application but they are still working on it and this is one of the initial tools that they are coming up, uh, they have come up. Let's go ahead and run this now. Okay, I haven't added a space somewhere I think here oh I have not added the serve oh man how could I do that let me take it to the top and add the to serve I'll pause the recording here and get back to you once the installation is done all right welcome back so the installation is now complete and uh, if you look at the output I have all the binaries installed and if you look closer you will we have two I don't have the NMC added or I have not added the NMC okay I'll upgrade it uh, in a few minutes now if you look at this you will see that we have a script to configure the authentication service or the OTC service so we have to run the script if we do not run the script the networker server will not start so let's go ahead and configure this this is going to ask you where the JRE is. So now since we have installed the NRE, you see that the NRE is taken automatically. Mm, 
next we have to mention the keystore password so keystore password is basically used for, to access the keystore that the OTC generates and the OTC keystore will contain information regarding to the trusts that you establish with other network servers and uh, this particular password is important whenever you are upgrading networker to a, uh, to a higher version because every time you are upgrading networker you have to run, C, uh, run the OTC configure again and in case you want to use the same uh, key store you will have to give this password there so let me set something up and now this is done and now it is going to ask you for the administrator password so the administrator is nothing but the administrator that uh, is will be used on your NMC if you are integrating this particular OTC with your um, NMC and the administrator password or uh, the administrator user can be later used to create the other users in the networker environment so let me go ahead and give a password here Oopsie. all right that is done okay so the installation is complete now let's go ahead and start the okay this is one more behavior that I've seen in networker which is the etc init.t script does not get created starting on 8.2 I'm not really sure why this is or why this behavior is or if it is uh, by design but so I have the networker started and running if you can see we have xxd uh, CTLD and so on and so forth. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade the networker management console server now. So since we are, uh, since starting from networker 9.x EMC has changed the NMC database from Sybase to PostgreSQL, the database that, I, uh, the data that is ex uh, that is currently residing on your Sybase database has to be imported onto your PostgreSQL. So for this EMC has provided a binary called GST DB unload and uh, this binary is required to create data dump of your existing database so that it can be imported onto the new NMC. So let's go ahead and do this now. For this, let's copy the binaries. So make sure that this particular binary is copied to the uh, OPT NMC bin directory on your uh, network management console server so we have 18.x okay let's do this and I want to copy it to OPD LGTO NMC bin yes so once this is done Let's go into bin dot slash just unload and then give it a path where it can dump all the database. For me, it would be to 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 an MC dump. So this is where I would be doing it. Hit enter. Now it is dumping all the data. So depending on the size of your GST database, it might take anywhere from f just a few seconds to a few hours. So do not panic if it runs for a couple of hours. It always depends on the size of your database. All right, so now that we have completed this, let's go back to the binaries folder. And let's go ahead and upgrade the NMC. So for this, again, RPM hyphen UVH NMC and enter. All right, now the NMC is upgraded. So let's go ahead and run the configuration again. 
so all right let's start this from uh, fresh I want to where is the data it is under N NMC underscore dump the authentication server is the same server and for me it is the hostname NW server start the demons yes please again depending on the size of your database this might take a long time to initialize I'll pause the video here and come back to you when this is initialized and complete now that we have completed the upgrade of the network management console let's go ahead and log in and see how the new environment or new uh, the network 18.2 environment looks like credentials so the password you will that you will be using here is the same password that you have set for the administrator user during the configuration of your authentication service click on login all right let's go ahead and launch the networker so this is the migration log file now if you if you see here uh, the success rate that I have here is 100 percent that means that there were 601 groups that uh, were converted and none of them failed and I do had uh, I did have two clone resources which have also migrated successfully uh, there are no VMware policies VMware policies are equivalent to the VBA policies that you would have on 8.2 so I didn't have any of them so none of them have been uh, converted and here you will find the summary of all the all the uh, groups that were completed uh, that have been migrated and also you will be able to see the list of uh, workflows uh, according to their distribution into the backup policy so let's go ahead and look at the environment now Click on close all right here we are so another look at the licensing so if in case you're using a capacity enabler uh, for your 8.2 or any other legacy licensing enablers then you will have to convert this enabler into a license file uh, if you do have a valid contract with EMC this will be done by EMC free of cost but if in case you have already terminated your uh, contract with EMC you might have to create a new contract with EMC to get the uh, the upgrade enabler as well as the licensing file for your 18.2 uh, environment let's go into protection here you will see that we have a number of policies so as I told you uh, the 601 groups will be divided into multiple policies with a maximum of 50 work groups in each policy so here is the backup um, a backup policy so you will see that there are 50 groups here on the number is on top and you will see that each group is now divided into uh, a workflow as well as actions so to know more about how the workflows are configured and the actions are configured please refer the documentation uh, so this is how the backup groups are uh, created if in case you had the cloning enabled on the group level as well you would see an additional action here for the cloning job so these are the backup groups now let's go ahead and try to find the clone so I was able to check where my clone configuration clone resource were held so they were basically on the clone policy so let me go back to the close all this and if I go to clone these are the two clone uh, resources that were converted into a workflow now and if you click on this you will see that it is converted to a action of type clone so this is how you upgrade your networker 8.2 to, uh, to environment to 18.2 if you do have any questions please visit my website uh, crazyrove.com or you can drop me an email at support at crazyrove.com